Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashi Curran and welcome back for another video. In today's video we're looking at borders and dividers, so 78 different examples of these that can be used in your journal. Some of these are fairly simple and some of them require a little bit more work, so ranging from things like straight lines of different colours and thicknesses to ones that are a little more decorative. To make these achievable pretty much regardless of the materials you have, I opted to use three different sizes of my Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pens, so the extra small, the small and the medium point, and one coloured marker for which I've again gone with my Tombow Dual Brush marker. Just like I did for my video on different header ideas, I've again put these ones into my R&D Bujo, which is an A5 Doc Grid journal from Archer and Olive. As per usual though, all of the equipment I've used is linked in the description box below. And remember that if you wanted a discount off an Archer and Olive journal, I do have a discount code for 10% off, which is also linked in the description. Just like I spoke about in the headers video, when it comes to borders and dividers, I again find myself gravitating towards the same styles repeatedly. In particular, that would be styles 1, 2, and 3, number 7, number 20, and recently number 25. Given my tendency to get bored with my journal if I don't change things up, I figured it would be a good idea to have a look at some of the different border and divider styles that I can use, and thus make this reference list in my journal. Of course, the list of ideas I have here is not exhaustive, there are plenty of other styles you can do, but hopefully the ones I have in this short video do give you some ideas of your own. I've quite been enjoying making these different idea videos, so like the header ideas video, this border and dividers video. If there's anything else in particular you'd like me to make an ideas video for, please do let me know in the comments. As always, I want to make sure that I'm putting out content that's actually going to be helpful for you guys, or something that you want to see. In terms of timing, most of these borders were fairly quick to do. Of course, the ones that have more intricate patterns do take a bit longer though. In particular, number 25 and number 47 were probably the ones that took the longest. Mainly because 25 has the shading lines, and for number 47, it was just trying to think of patterns to actually put in that border. The quickest options though would be 1, 2, 3, 10, and 14. Because I did want to make sure that these borders were doable by most people, I don't have anything super super detailed or decorative here, but I have seen some really gorgeous borders and dividers that people have tied in with their monthly themes by using them as another decorative element. Question of the day for you though, when you set up your journal, what's the style of border or divider that you most commonly gravitate towards? As I said, I typically keep mine simple with 1, 2, and 3. But of the decorative styles, number 20 here, or that kind of ripped paper edge, is for sure my favourite. Hopefully this video has given you guys some other ideas of dividers and borders you can use, and if you had a favourite, I would love to know about it. As always team, thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more on planning, productivity, and personal development. Until next time, bye!